What's up, people? I just picked up John, me, Dave, and John to go, go down to Salem. It's Halloween weekend. We're going to find out if the traffic's for real. Of course, it's going to be. It's going to be a pain in the ass. We already saw it on the highway going the other way. But it's Salem. It's Halloween weekend. We got to do it. Let's go to work. All right, people. I live 16 minutes from Salem. I live in Saugus. It's easy for me to get there. Tips for you is this. Definitely drive there during the week. There's no traffic. It looks exactly like this. And for a dollar or two dollars, you can park right near the Pioneer Village and walk right down to the Hocus Pocus house. Two birds, one stone. The Pioneer Village is only open on the weekends and it's seasonal. So be sure to look up the times that it's open because I made that same very mistake. When you go inside, the houses are trying their best to look like they did in the early 1600s. This is Old Salem. It looks amazing. You can go in some of the houses that they have, and they can give you one hell of an idea of what it used to look like. Of course, it's crowded because at the time when I went, it was Halloween weekend. But it's still an amazing taking, and it's worth every penny. It's only $5. And, of course, many of you are going to recognize this spot. This was one of the many film locations for Hocus Pocus. It does seem like this is something that you would do on a field trip, but if you're a history buff, then you are absolutely gonna love this. It's a great take in, like I said. So here's the issue I have. You hear in Old Salem, early 1600s, they're trying to make it look like, and that's not early 1600s. Very beautiful here, but um, too many people. Well, weekend. Yeah, Halloween weekend, Salem. There's gonna be too many people. Dave certainly loved that place. Uh, he's walking in front of me right now. He is jetting out of here. He said this is stuff that you do for like with your kids or on a first date and you want to be fake. All right, so he talks about the real and the fake. This is 100% certified fucking fake. Don't waste your five dollars. Go get a natural ice. What an asshole. Not far from the Pioneer Village is the Hocus Pocus house. So I'm going to show you that stroll that I did the other day because I was down here filming for a couple weeks. The houses here are exactly how you want your house and all the houses surrounded by your house to look like. Salem is by far the most beautiful and the best suburban town or city, whatever you want to call it, in the entire country. There's a dispute on the best city. Chicago, Boston, New York, LA, you don't count, you're too much of scum. But as far as suburbia, Salem takes the cake. Here it is, here's the house. Let's see how busy it is. Last year it was really busy. It doesn't look that busy this time. One of the many stops in Salem you have to make, but I'm a little confused. How come the roof is intact? That's the magic of Hollywood. Of course, one of the many things you have to do when you're in Salem is visit the Salem Witch Trials area. You can go through a couple of the tours, which I did not do in this vlog because I've done when I was younger. And I come down here once in a while to show my respect. They got the stone set up here for the nine hanged. And the one who was pressed, Giles Corey, and John Proctor, of course, is probably the most famous stone down here because of the movie Crucible, which was played by the number one actor who gets Academy Award just for stepping into a movie and doesn't really earn it, just like Glenn Close. And be sure not to miss out on the final quotes that were said by the hanged in stone right in front of the memorial. 
It's the month of October. We are in the horror capital of the entire world, not just the country. We are in Witch Village, Salem, to see the memorials of the 19 who were hanged and the one that was pressed that nobody talks about. Giles was pressed by stone and asked to confess. And if he confessed, his family would have lost his estate. He refused. And when they were putting more stones on him, he looked at the men who were ordering the stones to be pressed and said, more weight. And this guy hasn't talked about more. I don't get it. That's courage. So yes, people, they have plenty of Porter Johns around the town during Halloween weekend. The parking's ridiculous. And you must get a pumpkin head shipyard with the cinnamon rim, trust me. Pay your respects to the Samantha statue in front of Essex Street. This is during the daytime before it becomes a real shit show. But you can go down there all of October and enjoy yourself. It's Halloween all month here in Salem. Look, I'm not the type that wants to try to run down small businesses and say something bad about them. But this is also called the channel of the real. And I got to be real. And that place right there, tacos wise and everything else, margarita wise, the absolute drizzling shits. And the boys are going to suit up. most gorgeous sky behind me. I don't know if you guys can see it from that angle. The boys are taking about a 20 minute walk to go back to get their costumes. We're going into the Bit Bar, which is the spot that holds a special place in my heart because it's the first place I had my first shipyard pumpkin. And I'm definitely having some right now. The crowd has diminished for a reason. All the kitties are going to bed and the real fun begins. For the record, I'm not dressing up this year because I didn't get everything I wanted in a costume, which I will have next year. I want to be Leatherface, and I'm going to make sure that it's done correctly, not half-assed, like a lot of people are doing down here. Dave and John assured me that their costumes are going to be real, not fake. So we'll see. I'm excited next year to dress up, but right now I'm going to enjoy getting drunk off some pumpkins and enjoy them having a good time on Essex, which is a complete nut house right now. It's like New Year's, but in Salem. crazy right now i'm gonna head back out to the street and meet john and dave hopefully they'll be here soon i head to the bit bar michael and jason are on the way people dave and john and the boys have arrived. I'm gonna put you with you. Come on, come on. Guys, take a picture of me. 
Yeah, both of you guys, both of you guys. Yeah. Oh, right there. Oh, wait, wait, the car, my car. It's like, <laughs> there you go. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> Thank you. All right, all right, don't, don't actually kill it. Thank you. Happy Halloween. Yeah, Biggs, I'm down. Yeah, I'm down. Ah. Guys, it's like literally being with two celebrities back here. Like, I, I got Jason and I got Michael. And like everybody, they're celebrities. Because they're the two best killers down here. And now we're about to walk in the main event, the main street of all of it. Essex Street with these two, the celebrities over here, Jason and Michael, there they are right behind me. And when these two walk on the street, they are gonna be number one and number two. And you can choose which one, but if you don't pick Jason, you're an idiot. <laughs> Joe. I appreciate that. Yeah. But don't worry, they're not okay. They, they love this, you know? You guys need a picture taken? Thank you. You guys need to take it? Okay. Are we going to act like we're back here? There you go. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> there you go. Can we do just me? Yeah, can sure. Can we do just me? And then, and then you can do just you. Oh my god, I can do hey. just you. Oh! I take my, hey, I take Michael. I take Michael. Michael's gonna win. Oh shit. Thank you guys. That's awesome. These two are like rock stars here. I've literally taken pictures and videos with them with like, I don't know, like 60 plus people. These two are rock stars down here. Dave and John are living their best life. 
and I can't wait to do it next year, but I am enjoying this right now. Oh, look at that big skull. Love it. Yeah. This is so nice. Y'all want to say hi? Oh, I need a picture. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Hold on. <laughs> Thanks. Happy Halloween. My brother's the same one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that was Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. back to the car we came we saw we conquered unbelievable time salem is the best for halloween and nothing's even close that's it i'm done i'm waiting for that fire engine to shut the fuck up <laughs> 